We greet you in the love of our connected intentions and in the will of divine source. Great transformation has happened many times. You must open your hearts to the destruction, to the dismantling. Love this, even in the time of explosions. Let it feel ecstatic. The breaking away of the old deserving structures you've grown out of. There is always a pressure of the greatest fear and resistance right before a surrender into the ecstasy of regeneration. That is, you are going through a complete dismantling of the previous form to allow your consciousness to reassimilate into the great universal field, the great universal harmonic, and then birth again into your new form. <sighs> the mother cannot hold the child in her womb with any amount of will, for you see it is the moment of releasing personal will to the divine and trusting that this great universe, this great multiverse is intelligent beyond your wildest knowing. We soothe your hearts now. For every stimulus through all layers of reality have but one purpose, to tickle you into letting go. Letting go of perceiving any of it as personal. Surrender is the alignment and complete harmonization of the will with the divine will. So, it is not a negating of your personal will. The surrender is to the ego's control and belief that it is divine will. It is so easy to mistake for divine will, the ego's desires and planning and prayers. No matter how dressed up in spiritual language and adornment, it is still just your ego's agenda. When it comes to death, there is nowhere else for the ego to go but into its true form, which is a particle of something much vaster. The ego will always resist dying. And in your letting go, let the ego resist. Don't try to control your ego. Don't imagine that the ego will stand at attention to a higher power's instructions. No, no. Don't try to make yourself intimidating to the ego. It will not come into abeyance. This is basically just you splitting your ego into two factions and having a power game. In your power game, you project all manner of different faces onto the different parts of yourself vying for power. Take off all the faces and it's just you. You with you. You distracting you. You blocking you. You building stories. You are not separate from the great birthing that is happening now, in this moment, open to the great nervous system of all of humanity. Feel the buzzing, the excitement. Feel the resistance of the ego. Feel the pressure for change. Now, expand yourself to know every planet's deepest desire in your solar system. Journey into these celestial bodies and experience their consciousness. Now, you are not just human consciousness, but you are the consciousness of all forms of life on and in and around Mother Earth. From this perspective, everything is different. Everything is changed. It is love that propels the transformation. It is a great dreaming that must manifest. It is a speeding toward the ecstasy of union, the light of truth, the light of the one. We are the Council of 50, and we watch over this timeline, this co-dreamed timeline, for all that you perceive is a collaborative dreaming, an agreement of many, 
upon the creation of forms. And there is currently a very strong and growing stronger co-dreaming of transformation and a relief from delusion, deception, and lies. Do you see the internal processes of deception have reached their maximum fulfillment as a stimulus for human growth? At this time, it is a choice toward love that will bring the next evolutionary leap. Up until now, you have been learning and growing from experiencing what you are not. You have dived in head first to roles of perpetrator, savior, and victim. Now it is time to evolve based on who and what you are. It is no longer the deception that will catalyze change. This is how it has been, but it has run its course and the potency of this way of learning has faded. The leap coming and it's filled with a desire. The leap is coming and it is filled with a desire and a dreaming of relief from suffering and a choice for love. Put down your weapons. Violence is now perceived by the majority on your planet as unnecessary. The next step is to internally validate this deep knowing that love is the propelling force toward freedom, not violence, war, and the power over striving. This self-validation must grow within each person and move each person into active service. Up until recently, most people have been giving away their power to authority figures and believing the lies of your media streams, telling them that peace will come only if you fight for it. War must be waged to take out enemies who stop peace from happening. Your power has been given away to these factions. Yet we repeat, the majority on the planet have now woken up to the truth that love is the way forward. <sighs> Therefore, today, when a voice of authority barks an order or a lie is woven and spread throughout the media circuit, a growing number of people will discern. Do I hop to attention and follow the orders of this voice? which is feeling more and more removed from me, less and less in service to me and my community, more and more distant from the truth? Do I hop to attention and follow orders like I used to? Or do I discern the truth within my heart right now and follow these deeper instructions? Within each person, this must happen and is happening and the tide is shifting, changing, turning, more quickly every day. <sighs> no longer will people say, yes, sir. Now people will look into the eyes of their neighbors all over the world and only see the mirrored reflection back to them of, we just want peace and love. We want peace and we want love. Those instructions being barked, those orders, will not bring us together. But we, together, can find a way. We can find a way, together. This great opening into the fourth density and the fifth density feels like this. Do you feel it in yourself, in your heart? It feels like this, this great leap of faith that if you lay down your sword, the other in front of you with different colored skin or religious beliefs will lay down theirs. And then you will say together, ah, this whole time, we've been all pawns in a great game. And the game masters have not had our highest good at heart. It has been a heartless game. We liberate ourselves now from the bandwidth that has kept us asleep into this ocean where everything is included and touched by the truth, touched by the one, touched by the one love. Yes, yes, yes.
What each of you are deciding upon today is if you desire to live in this ocean of peace and truth, or if you want to live in the discordant bandwidth of war, inner battling, and fragmentation. That is the only thing going on every day. And to think that there is something beyond this, dictating life and reality is to continue feeding the illusion, is to choose the inner battle. At this time, we bless you with the love pervasive in the universe. It is time for us to take our leave. We hope that you have received this discourse, this loving transmission with an open heart and mind. We hope that you are able to allow in what is truly yours to act upon, to allow this in as medicine for your transformation, to allow this in to support stepping more into courage and creating community within yourself and in your human society. As we contact you, you contact us. We love you. Thank you for showing us care and respect and love. Together, we are a force stronger than fear. We celebrate this sacred communion. With gratitude, we now depart. Whew.